Hi guys, welcome back to our channel. Today I'm here with a yummy chicken starter recipe. With the festive season around the corner and a lot of catch-ups and get-togethers coming up soon, this one is going to be a really good addition to your party menu. And it's quite different from your usual chicken tikka or tandoori chicken recipes. So it's going to be a welcome change at any party. What I love best about this recipe is the fact that it can be customized to your taste so you can make it spicier by adding more green chilies and more pepper or you can keep it mild. And the best thing about this recipe is that you do not require any fancy ingredients or you do not need as many spices as you usually would use in a tikka or a tandoori chicken recipe. The only advanced preparation that you would need to do is to make some hung curd from yogurt. I'll show you how to do that in a while. So let's look at the list of ingredients first. As you can see here I've taken some chicken. I've used chicken thigh and it's cut into slightly bigger pieces. So you can see that they are quite chunky pieces that they have been cut into. Along with this we need a couple of green chilies, garlic. I've used a whole bulb of garlic here and some hung curd and this cream and this cornstarch, garam masala and some salt and some lemons, onions and coriander leaves for garnish. So for the hung curd, I just tie up the yogurt in a muslin cloth and tie it on to the tap for all the liquid to drain off. So you can leave it on for a couple of hours. I did it only for an hour this time and I still got pretty decent hung curd. So now let's get started with the actual process. So here in a small blender jar, I'm taking the green chilies and the garlic cloves. So you can add more or less green chilies depending on your spice tolerance. Along with this, I'm adding some olive oil. Adding the olive oil at this stage helps to get a very smooth paste. So now we've blended this into a really fine paste. Let's get on with the marination now. So to the cut and clean chicken pieces, I'm adding the hung yogurt. You can now see how thick the hung yogurt is as opposed to just adding yogurt. To this let's add the cream. The cream actually gives the tikka a very distinctive and rich flavor. We are now adding in the paste that we made with the garlic oil and green chilies and to this let's add the corn flour, garam masala and salt. I will be providing the list of ingredients and the quantities in the description box. Adding in the crushed pepper. You can increase the amount of pepper depending on your spice tolerance. When you're making this for the first time, I would recommend you to add all the marinade ingredients in a bowl and check the taste and adjust the spice, salt and lemon juice before you add the chicken in. This is because it's not safe to taste the marinade after adding the raw chicken in. I have squeezed in about one whole lemon in here. Now using clean hands you can mix everything together so that the marinade coats the chicken pieces completely. Once it's completely coated let it marinate for at least 4 hours or overnight. So these are the things that we need for the garnish. I have cut the onion into thick rings. I have cut the lemon into wedges and chopped the coriander leaves finely. Once the chicken has marinated for a couple of hours, we can then bake the chicken. Here I'm preheating the oven to 180 degrees Celsius. I've lined a tray here and I'm greasing the rack on which I'll be cooking the chicken with some canola oil spray. Now 
Now let's arrange the chicken pieces onto the rack, leaving a small space in between each of the pieces. You can use skewers here, but I'd forgotten to soak my wooden skewers in water, so I just baked the chicken on the racks. If you're planning to use wooden skewers, make sure to soak them in water at least 15-20 minutes before baking. This is to avoid the skewers from getting burned during the baking process. Drizzle some butter on the chicken pieces. I couldn't find my pastry brush so we're using the fork here to just put some drops of butter on it. It's time to bake the chicken now so the oven is already preheated at about 180 degrees celsius and we'll bake this for around 10 minutes and then we will flip the pieces and put it back into the oven for another 5 minutes of baking and your chicken tikka should be ready. As you can see the tikka pieces have slightly browned on the top so now you can flip them over and once it's all flipped over you can put it back in the oven for another 5 minutes or so. At this stage again you can drizzle some butter on top of the pieces if you want to. This is purely optional. I only did it because I had some of the butter left and I didn't want to waste it. A little somebody sniffed the chicken tikka and came to check what's cooking in the kitchen. So now that goes back into the oven for another 5 minutes. Make sure you don't leave it in the oven for too long after the 5 minutes mark because you want the chicken to be really tender and succulent and leaving it in might actually dry it out or make it harder. You can see the slight browning at the top already so that means it's time to pull it out. Now it's time to plate the chicken. So I've just taken an oval platter here and placing the chicken pieces on here. You can then garnish it with the sliced onion rings and coriander leaves and the lemon wedges. If you are a chicken lover, make sure you give this a go because you are definitely going to be blown away by the flavour. I usually make a double batch of this and refrigerate the marinated chicken for the next day or two and use it along with my salads and it's a very welcome change to the poached chicken or the regular cooked chicken that you generally have in salads. If you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up and leave your comments in the comment section. Also do let me know what kind of recipes you'd like to see more of on the channel. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel please subscribe and enable notifications so that you'll be notified of my new recipe videos. Thank you for watching. I'll see you soon with another recipe video. Bye.